Good morning and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Monday the 9th of January. The local media headlines this morning. Most of the local media remind us that we are about to enter a critical phase for the future of Cornwall's National Health Service. Starting today, there's a two-week window of public consultation which could determine where and when you might have access to a local hospital. It's the lead story on Cornwall Reports. It's near the top for both the Falmouth Packet and Cornwall Live. The St Ives Times and Echo led with it on Friday. The Newquay Voice also has the story. The Bude and Stratton Post tells us that the first of those public meetings is in Bude this afternoon. There are fears that some community hospitals could close. By way of example, Radio Cornwall this morning leads with news that the repairs bill for the Edward Hayne Hospital at St Ives has risen to £1.2 million. There are growing doubts as to whether it will ever reopen. Meanwhile, the Cornish Times today reports the plans of house builders Persimmon Homes. The paper says Persimmon has its sights on Newquay, Liscard and Plymouth, but also has plans to deliver new homes in Truro and Falmouth as we head further into 2017. And the Cornish and Devon Post tells us how a man from Launceston has had a letter from Buckingham Palace, thanking him for his Christmas card he sent to the Queen. And that's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. There's just over a week to go now on Crowdfunder, but still some way to go to make sure that crowdfunding alone can secure the future of this project for the next three months. That's how long is needed to guarantee that it can eventually stand on its own feet. So please do what you can to help. Like, share on Facebook and so on. But also get used to the idea of going to cornwallreports.co.uk where you can watch stuff like this and a whole lot more for half the price of a local weekly paper. Thanks again. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.